Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the southern blotting which is also known as the southern hybridization. The southern blotting is a technique which is used to identify a specific DNA sequence from a DNA sample by, uh, by using a DNA probe that is a single stranded oligonucleotide DNA that can specifically bind specifically bind with the particular DNA sequence by complementary base pairing which is known as the hybridization and that's why this southern blotting is also known as southern hybridization and now why this DNA identification process is called southern blotting the term southern comes from its inventor EM southern and the blotting is a important step of this DNA identification process in which the DNA is transferred from the agarose gel to the nitrocellulose membrane and then hybridization with probe is done. Now in the first step of the southern blotting at first we have to purify the DNA from the cell. So for the DNA purification at first we have to disrupt the cell that is the cell lysis. Cell lysis is done then the proteins and the DNA is come into the solution. So to remove the protein we have to degrade the proteins by proteinase. So we have to add proteinase into the solution. So proteins all proteins will be will degraded and then we have to isolate and purify the DNA by alcohol precipitation technique. Alcohol precipitation alcohol precipitation technique in which in which in which the alcohol and salt solution is added to the DNA sample and then the DNA is precipitated out and then we can it, we can isolate and purify this DNA sample okay now in the second step suppose now we get the DNA sample suppose this is the whole genomic DNA and suppose here a specific DNA sequence is present which is our main uh, DNA of interest or gene of interest which we want to identify or detect. So in the second step we have to digest this DNA, this genomic DNA by restriction endonuclease. We have to digest this genomic DNA by restriction endonuclease which produce different size of DNA fragments like this produce this DNA fragments okay and now we have to transfer these DNA fragments to the agarose gel for agarose gel electrophoresis for agarose gel electrophoresis where the DNA is migrate from the negative charge to positive charge because all DNA DNAs are uh, negatively charged so they migrate from the negatively charged to positively charged in the agarose gel electrophoresis and the longer DNA molecule longer DNA fragments will migrate less in the agarose gel and the shorter molecule will migrate migrate more in the agarose gel and give bands like this and here we have to run a marker DNA fragments like this okay after agarose gel electrophoresis the DNA fragments present in the agarose gel is treated with the alkali solution like NOH so that the DNA the double stranded DNA fragments 
is denatured to the single stranded form and this single stranded form is required for the next hybridization process where the single stranded dna probe have to bind to the dna single stranded dna fragment okay so now here this agarose gel is treated with the uh, alkali solution like NOH okay and produce and produce the DNA fragments containing single stranded DNA this is the single stranded DNA fragments okay now the agarose gel containing the single stranded DNA fragment is transferred on the top of the buffer solution containing the filter paper. Like suppose this is a tank and here a buffer solution is present. This is the buffer solution and some filter paper is present there and on the top of the buffer solution the agarose gel containing the single stranded DNA fragment is placed this is the agarose gel and now the nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane is placed on the top of the agarose gel to transfer the DNA from the agarose gel to the nitrocellulose membrane for further hybridization. So this is the nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane. Okay, and now the dry filter paper, some dry filter paper is added and a weight is put on the top so this dry filter paper this dry filter paper and some weight create a even a create a pressure evenly distributed on the on the agarose gel and nitrocellulose membrane which is which uh, ensure a uh, good and even contact between the agarose gel and the nitrocellulose membrane which is required to transfer the DNA transfer the DNA fragments from the uh, transfer the DNA fragments to the nitrocellulose membrane okay and now now the buffer go upwards to the dry filter paper by capillary action and it carry and it carry the dna present in the agarose gel to the nitrocellulose membrane and the dna bound to the nitrocellulose or nylon membrane because by the by their ionic interaction because the DNA is negatively charged and the nitrocellulose membrane are positively charged and they get bound to each other. Okay, and this is called the blotting process. Okay, and after blotting is done, then after blotting is done, then this nitrocellulose or nylon membrane is removed. removed here containing the single standard DNA okay and now for nitrocellulose membrane it is dried at 80 degree Celsius and for nylon membrane it is exposed to 
UV exposed to UV irradiation to make the permanent contact with the DNA to the nitrocellulose or nylon membrane for further further in the next process of hybridization okay now in hybridization process the DNA probe is exposed to the nitrocellulose or nylon membrane okay now DNA probe DNA probe is exposed to the nitrocellulose or nylon membrane now what is DNA probe the DNA probe first DNA probe is a single standard DNA single standard DNA fragment which has a specific sequence second it is a oligonucleotide containing 18 to 50 bases and third it is radioactively labeled radio leveled or it is it can be fluorescent it can be attached with the fluorescent dye okay now when the dna probe is exposed to the nitrocellulose or nylon membrane then it specifically bound to the dna fragment which is totally complement with it, with each other and hybridized to and then hybridize to each other so now suppose this are the dna fragments single standard dna fragments and now the dna probe suppose the dna probe is complementary to this dna fragment okay so now it is complement it is hybridized to this and specifically hybridized to this dna fragment and other and other probes will bound to non specifically to some dna fragments like this like this or like this okay and other will remain in the unbound state okay now we have to wash wash this nitrocellulose membrane with buffer so that the unbound and non specifically bound probe will be removed from the nitrocellulose membrane and only only the probe which can specifically bind to the dna fragment that remain tightly in the nitrocellulose membrane like this okay now the x-ray plate is pressed on the nitrocellulose membrane and then the radioactively labeled probe will create a spot or image on the um, on the x-ray plate and from that we can determine the presence of the specific DNA sequence okay like this like this it is a x-ray plate okay and this is called the auto radiography okay and this is the whole process of southern blotting for identifying for identification of specific dna sequence okay thank you for watching this video